Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks for checking the video out. It's always much appreciated. And guys, today we're gonna to be talking about why nobody watches YouTube videos when you talk about smallmouth. And I sort of wanna get your guys' opinion on this. Give me some feedback why you guys just don't watch the smallmouth videos because it seems like any time that I do a video and I title it something smallmouth, nobody watches the thing. It's just like, I don't know what the deal is. It's just like, is there not that many people that fish for smallmouth? Just not really sure. But I'm gonna sort of give you guys some of my thoughts on this. Thought it might make for an interesting video here. I'm curious to see if anyone watches this because it's talking about smallmouth. But anyway, um, I try, one of the things I try to do on the channel here is sort of, I try to be well-rounded as far as giving everybody a little something geographically, species-wise, technique-wise. And um, it seems like for the most part, any time that I talk about northern fishing, which is primarily smallmouth fishing, it, nobody watches the videos. It's like I don't get hardly any people watch the dang videos. If I if I do a video on, on you know, catching smallmouth on the Great Lakes or Lake Champlain or Lake St. Clair, it's like that, just a handful of people watch it. So, um, it's almost like, I don't know if there's not as many fishermen up there or not as many, not as much interest because there's other species like walleye, northerns and muskie, that type of stuff. But they just, at any time that I do a smallmouth video, they, it just goes down the tubes. And, you know, I think there's a couple reasons for this. I think number one is that um, it is such a specialized way to fish because when you're talking about smallmouth bass, you're talking about the, the true northern type smallmouth, which is sort of the big water, Great Lake smallmouth, fisheries that primarily have smallmouth in it. And then you're talking about the other lakes out there that have mixed species, you know, like spotted bass, uh, largemouth bass, uh, that type of stuff. I have to get Elijah here. Um, so those are two different types of species because the way that a smallmouth bass behaves, say for example, on Lake Cherokee um, in Tennessee, or Bull Shoals Lake in Arkansas is completely a different type of smallmouth than one you're gonna catch up at Lake St. Clair. It's like, they just act the same, they behave the same, they're in different locations. It's almost like they're a completely different species. Now, if I talk about a video of mixed species lake, like a lake that's got largemouth spotted bass and a smallmouth bass, you know, that gets a little bit more interest. But the main thing is just those, nobody really cares about those smallmouth bass up north. and. A couple of my thoughts on the smallmouth up north while we're on this video here is I I used to love, well, in fact, I still do, but I really used to love for fishing, for fishing smallmouth up north because you could go up there, all those places up north, and you could power fish and catch big smallmouth. All you needed was a spinnerbait, a jerkbait, and a topwater, and that's what everybody fished up there. But now you can't catch them like that. It's all weenie worming around with live scope, you know, little swim baits, little drop shots. You know, you can't, it's, it's literally impossible to win a smallmouth tournament um, up north without live scope forward facing sonar. That's why I've lost interest in it myself. I, if you, if, if I read about a tournament that, yeah, such and such caught a uh, hundred pounds over four days of smallmouth, he was live scoping a flatworm. That, that, I, that goes in one ear and out the other. I could care less, that holds no interest. I'd rather hear something about, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians or something than hearing about some guy live scoping smallmouth with a flatworm. It just doesn't, I have no interest in that whatsoever. But if you tell me that you caught some big smallmouth ripping a spinnerbait or throwing a walking topwater or something like that, I'm all ears. But anyway, I'm just curious guys, give me your thoughts. I just really wanna know from you guys why the smallmouth YouTube videos don't get any traction. Nobody watches them, so just let me know on there and I'd be curious to know. So thanks for tuning in, we'll see. You.